President Harry S. Truman signed the National Security Act of 1947, officially establishing the Air Force as a separate branch of the military. This week we have paid tribute to all those who, with selfless sacrifice, unwavering commitment, and uncommon courage, built our legacy of valor. In doing so, we have been reminded of the obligation incumbent upon each one of us to build on that legacy with faithful service to our nation. In studying our heritage and embracing the lessons of both our past mistakes and successes, we plot an uncompromising course for continued improvement through every generation of Air Force leadership. When this ceremony concludes, and you head back to the dorms, if you're like I was when I was a cadet, you'll be thinking about warming up and then heading, heading off base if possible. And that's okay, I get that, that was me. And then on Sunday night, you'll start thinking about GRs and the papers that are due and how you can't wait until the weekend when you can go get off base and have some fun. But I want you to understand that whether you are intentional about it or not, you are building friendships right now that will last a lifetime. At this time, we would invite the United States Air Force Academy Superintendent, Lieutenant General Michelle Johnson, accompanied by the Cadet Wing Commander, Cadet Colonel Jake Sorter, to initiate tonight's ceremony by placing the first wreath at the 20th Air Force Memorial Site.